Hi folks, Sandy Hovetter here of Data Designs Publishing. We are in the middle of a uh, series of video blogs about how to use Adobe Acrobat to its fullest. And today we're going to be talking about how to work with the Pages panel. With that, let's get started. We're going to move over to Acrobat. And let me say that I am demoing this on Acrobat 11. Uh, many of the features are in previous versions, but uh, for today, we're looking at Acrobat 11. I have a document open here. It is a, uh, a guide to a product called Rowmaker. It's the same uh, document that we used in the previous video. If you're a gardener, check out this product. It's a great product, and we do have their permission to use their guide. The previous video, we looked at the content editing panel. Today, we're going to look at the pages panel. The first thing, it's, it's broken into three sections, manipulating, inserting, and editing page design. We're going to start with manipulating pages. The first one is really a toggle. It's called page thumbnails, and when you click it, you'll notice that over here on the left of the screen, it uh, opens the thumbnail panel. And if I click over here on, on page thumbnails, in the Manipulate Pages section, uh, it will toggle that off. Now there are other ways to get the panel, the page thumbnails to show. And um, notice I just, uh, over here, I can, when they're showing, just click on this double left arrow, and it closes them. Or if they're not showing, click on the, the uh, icon here that indicates page thumbnails. I'm going to go ahead and close it. Acrobat allows you to rotate a page. Now I have no need to rotate this page, but let's say that I had a form on here uh, that uh, I needed to rotate to be able to read. Or sometimes you get documents in that are upside down or sideways, and so it's pretty easy to rotate. You can rotate all of them, or I'm just going to rotate this first page. Up here at the top it tells you what direction. I'm going to rotate it clockwise 90 degrees. Oh, let's go 180. It'll be upside down and easy to see. Notice that if I picked all of the pages, I could just choose even pages only, odd pages only. That's irrelevant to what I'm doing right now. It is also smart enough that if you want to change all the landscape pages, if you only want to rotate the landscape pages or the portrait pages, you can do that. I'm just showing you the capability here. Notice I clicked OK, and now it's upside down. I'm going to hit Control Z to undo that, but that can be a really helpful feature. One thing I want to say about uh, rotating, sometimes, and we haven't been able to figure out what the exact conditions are that cause this to happen, but sometimes you will rotate a page and you want it to be rotated. You'll use the Pages panel and go to the Rotate tool. You'll uh, rotate it. You'll do a file save and uh, close the file. And then when you open it again, it doesn't save the rotation. I'll close the file and reopen it. It did save it in this case. Like I said, we haven't been able to figure out the conditions under which it doesn't. But one way we found that it always holds uh, the rotation is if you use the rotate tool from your menu bar. This is another way to rotate pages. Let me rotate it back here. It brings up the exact same rotate pages uh, window, dialog box, and so I'm going to rotate it back and I'm going to save again. If you don't have that tool up on your toolbar, uh, your menu bar, toolbar, whatever you want to call it. Right click and come down here to edit current tool set and then down to pages and right there is your rotate. I've already got it there so I don't want to add it but if you clicked on it you can add it and then it will always be up in your toolbar. That's the rotate tool. The delete tool is pretty simple. We'll go to the last page of the document and click delete Notice I can delete any pages I want. I'm just going to delete the last page. Say OK. It asks you to confirm it. And now you can see up here that I only have a 28-page document. One thing that's important to know that when you've deleted a page, you cannot undo it. I can hit Control Z till I'm blue in the face. Nothing happens. I can uh, click over here, Edit, Undo you can see that it's grayed out and so I cannot undo it. 
I think we're going to end this video here because the next command has a uh, quite a few things to it, and we'll start a new video for uh, the extracting command. Click on the next video to continue.